Okay, so Kostu, let's proceed ahead with your HR for Power Grid, and we start with a brief introduction. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, myself Kostu Guhara. I am from uh, Kolkata, West Bengal, where I have done my schooling and my bachelor's in electrical engineering also. Uh, I have done my bachelor's uh, from Jadavpur University at Kolkata. and uh, there are uh, there are some projects that i have done uh, in my summer internship i have done my project on automation and developed some uh, programming models using uh, automation language and i have also done my final year project on uh, variable frequency control on of uh, induction motors sir uh, my for my family uh, uh, my father uh, is retired and my mother is actually a uh, housewife uh, she does all the management in our family also and apart from that uh, i'd like to play chess and uh, i have also organized a few events during our college tech fest okay so when did you graduate sir in this year only 2024 so uh, you have some job in hand are you doing some job somewhere sir i don't have a job in hand like the uh, internship that i had done uh, it was actually they offered a full time offer but uh, i did not join over there so why you did not join um, because sir i was preparing for the power grid so i did not join over there because of that so was there any specific reason you are interested in uh, public sector jobs Sir, uh, there are major ch challenges in our nation. For example, uh, there are two major challenges in power sector domain. Mm -hmm. First one is uh, renewable energy integration, and the second one is uh, how to build uh, uh, suitable uh, indigenous infra infrastructure for electric vehicles, like char charging infrastructure. in order to do solve these two problems in the in this decade uh we need a lot of planning and work to do to be done in our sector hmm. so um, that okay, is the reason so i want to there's the reason you want to join pu power grid huh? yes sir they are do they are doing question to solve uh sir uh Yes, I think I will be in a position to solve because uh, Power Grid is doing several work in those domains also. Like they are basically developing the transmission systems ac across uh, India. So how how do you think that you will get the same domain to work in once you join Power Grid? Once you join us, you will be working in the same domain. How do you know that? no i do not expect that i will get the same domain rather i expect that uh, i will just uh, be able to do my work, work uh, at the best uh, like whatever the work i am given i will be able to perform it best and the work i will be given will actually contribute to those problem to solving those problems also Okay, Kostu, are you aware about different uh, business verticals or uh, work domains of uh, power grid in which we work? Yes, sir. Uh, there are three uh, sectors. For example, uh, the major sector is the transmission sector, like okay. the transmission network building sector. Mm -hmm. The second one is uh, telecom sector. Power grid has its own telecom sector, which is known as uh, power tel. and the third one is consultancy uh power grid also provides uh, consultancy services to uh, to uh, many 
global uh, companies or uh, so societies uh, for example in, it provides uh, like consultancy services it has provided uh, consultancy services to uh, kenya i think as far as i can recall okay so uh, are you aware about the customers of power grid who are the clients and customers of power grid yes sir uh, uh, for example ntpc nhpc uh, uttar pradesh power corporation limited there are uh, several customers of uh, clients of power grid like whoever has the transmission asset in india almost everyone is a client of uh, power grid uh, as i can be called you must be knowing what is a smart grid and smart meter yes sir mm, can you explain these two terms to me yes sir this is a interesting concept also like uh, beforehand we had the grid concept where generation will be done one side in one side and it will be the power will be transferred to the grid and and then to uh, to the demand side so uh, in smart grid the concept is different uh, because in smart grid what we do is that uh, the generation is not only uh, only like a plant oriented generation can also be demand oriented like uh, from the demand side people also can take part in the uh, powered uh, generation and distribution uh, system like they can ac actually install their own renewable energy uh, infrastructure in order to participate in in the in the system also and apart from that uh, smart uh, uh grid actually aims to use some smart energy meters through which electricity theft also can be resolved so which company makes smart meters any idea uh so siemens i think definitely makes it so uh in the household how many smart meters we have already installed any idea about that no sir no sir hmm. so cost why you think that you should be given the chance to join our company sir i think that uh, i am uh, hard working and honest and i try to do my work uh, at the uh, like uh, in a very structured way hmm. uh, and i have uh, some strength of and weaknesses as well like i tend to segregate a task and do it in time uh, and do it as efficiently as possible if it's not being done i try to take uh, help of others as well and like i try to perform my job in a team as well so with these these uh, aspects i think it will be uh good for both of uh like me and the company that we will actually be on board uh you may be getting other opportunities also in other psus also so why power grid sir power grid is the leading psu in the transmission sector and uh, the other psus that as far as i know majorly are not uh, in the uh like they are not part of uh, power sector like uh, it's like their core business is not oriented to the power sector domain and uh, power grid is actually focused on only uh the power sector and building the infrastructure for transmission systems so this is a major job for electrical engineers and as far as i think that my uh, my knowledge of electrical engineering can best accommodate itself with uh, joining this company only okay so cost uh, 
your expectation from power grid uh, sir uh, i expect that uh, i will be able to uh, learn more things uh, if i join over here like uh, i don't have uh, that much of industrial experience right now but i think that i will be able to join and learn more uh, about industry how transmission systems work and uh, how planning can be done uh, in a way that uh, people are like electricity is a major uh, thing for people like uh, for rural electrification it is also important we also need to provide electricity in a reliable way to 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 all of the uh, all of the consumers and uh, commercial as loads and these are the things that uh, connect our economy so i think uh, uh, okay okay uh, kostu let me give the feedback kostu there are couple of things which you have to improve number one your pace of speaking is very very low the way you are speaking is very uh, looking like very casual and lethargic you need to be in active yes, mode you have to speak right like aisa lag raha hai bade slow slow bol rahe ho aaram aaram se bol rahe ho but that is not uh, uh, interview related uh, you know way of communication so in the interview you have to be very very active and you have to communicate in a particular pace thoda zyada fast bolne ki try karo thoda sa increase karo uh aapne apne introduction ka script you have not written you have to write the script uh, of your introduction what you want to speak because you are telling so much information you are giving which is not required like you are talking about your project you are talking about your internship uh, and talking about your parents also and uh, you are talking about i, I think your uh, hobbies also you mentioned if i am not wrong so it is uh, quite r- long you have given yeah you have mentioned about the chess and event management in the college and all so your introduction you need to uh, rewrite and for that you can watch a video on your pedia how to introduce yourself in that video by shubhya madam you watch that okay. in that it is very clearly written what should be the content of introduction so avoid the other things i mean they will ask you about your uh, uh, hobbies and interests if they want to ask you later on so don't mention everything in the introduction the purpose of the introduction is to briefly tell them about you and focus on that you have uh, graduated this year only you are graduating and try to pull the interview in particular direction try to end your introduction at a point where they can ask you next question so think of what that can be it can be internship it can be you know project it can be anything but that should be very strong and also why psu why power grid that answer i am not happy that okay some problem is coming in india related to electric vehicle and if i join i'll solve that this is not a right answer so as employee why you want to be part of power grid that you please tell this is how you have to say it right and a uh, smart meter smart grid uh, go through the document of power grid and also go to the website of power grid and see uh, you know what is mentioned there i mean a smart meter then see which company makes smart meter these questions have been asked in the recent past so how many household have power, uh, smart meter as of now so the number is not there i mean that is uh, they have not started uh, putting it in that number so what is the target till what what time we want the smart meters to be installed and all and how it is going to impact the transmission distribution losses and all work on that right 